Welcome back to the build site. Obviously we're back out at the property today and today I am trying to mark where my footings are gonna go. So there's our problem stump. It's our trash pile. Just kind of give you a little frame of reference here. Here's my first mark. That's just about 12 feet from that stump. It's a little, little more. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and dig that out and what I'm doing is using the shovel to uh, attach my tape measure to so it kind of stands in as a potential post and I measure out and I use the paint to mark and I'm just gonna try to dig or at least start a hole for the footings. Alright well this is hole number one. I uh, expect for this pier, whatever you want to call it, to be approximately a foot off of the ground, like over the top here. So from what I've learned online, you got to dig at least half to a third as deep as it's going to be sticking up. And then also another at least about six inches for gravel at the bottom. So this is approximately 18 inches, maybe a little more, depending on the high end or the low end. And uh, yeah, it's about 12 inches around, I think. I may have to clean it up a little bit. As you can see, like, I immediately ran to a root, which is not surprising because, you know, we're surrounded by trees here. But anyway, so uh, my intention is to take this shovel here and try to plant it approximately where, a, you know, 4x4 four four would be and uh, then measure off of that and make my marks to about 12 feet in length there, one at 6 feet and one at 12, and uh, dig two more holes long ways and then you gotta do the same thing down here, 8 feet out. So here's our first hole. I put that in there the best I could. I had to move it around a bit to try and get the closest thing to a measurement I could get. Mosquitoes are biting me. Um, so this is my six foot mark from there. I got marked there, that's six even, and then I mark six, six inches either way, if you can see that, because it needs to be about 12 inches diameter. And then here's my 12 foot mark. This is, you know, 11 foot six. That line is about 12 feet total, and then this is six inches back from that. So we need to be right there on that middle dot, presumably. Uh, my measurements aren't 100% accurate, obviously. I'm doing this in a bit of a uh, precarious way, is that the word? Or a very approximate way. I guess that's going to be the theme for all of this at this point. Um, but, you know, I can dig the holes, and if they need to be widened or moved a little bit, I can do that. I can't really get an accurate assessment until I have the materials to put in the ground. So my intention is this is going to be my, it'll be this one or probably that one over there. And that's going to be like my base corner. So if I can get all the materials in the timeline that I want, then what I'll do is go ahead and plant up here there and then take all my measurements off of that to hopefully get everything square and, and put where it's supposed to be because if I just try to do it all like this and dig all the holes and then put them all without measuring and stuff I feel like that's going to be a disaster. Uh, I mean it could very well be a disaster regardless but that's the best way I can think to do it because I'm not working with flat ground. I'm having to compensate for the slope and everything so I just feel like it'll be a pain to try and do it you know maybe how you would normally normally do this stuff. I don't know. Another thing is I was originally intending on doing like concrete footings, just 100% concrete, uh, like an anchor bolt or some kind of mount and then come up from that with the pier. <sighs> but unfortunately that takes a lot more material and a lot more costs, more than I was expecting. So what I'm probably going to just end up doing is the traditional gravel post concrete and just concrete it into the ground it'll be like ground contact treated lumber um, for this kind of project I feel like maybe that's good enough to get away with so that's what I intend to do in order to save on cost and 
you know, I'm sure there are ways to do repairs if you need to, hopefully. Uh, because that was my intention. I'm kind of just rambling now, but uh, I wanted it to be easily repairable. So, like, you know, if you had a post that went wonky on you for some reason, or if it went rotten uh, years down the road, or way sooner than it should, you could just brace that area of the building, take that out, and then set a new post there. Easy peasy. No, no big problem. No big deal there. But, uh, I guess, you know, another option is if, you know, do it like this, and then if one day you need to do that, uh, just try to dig it out, and then later on you can do the concrete footing and just, you know, it would be a big pain in the ass, but I suppose, you know, it, it doesn't all have to be forever. So here's hole number two, and uh, I realize I'm messing up, because uh, what I did is I measured my shovel here, and, you know, that way I can see how high the dirt is getting on it, and I can be like, okay, well that's so deep. And I kept thinking this here was 18 inches. And I forgot, when I measured it, it's actually ugh, two feet. So I've been digging to about two feet by accident. So uh, I may have to refill some of the dirt in here once I have something appropriate to tamp it down and get it level, but maybe that's not a bad thing. <laughs> I don't know. That or I'll just have to backfill it more later. Anyway, yeah, that's how I've been doing it, and I'm already messing up. It's great! So what I'm going to try to do here is double check my measurement on the center, and I'm also going to use this. I'm going to try to lay it down in order to create a string line so that I'll know, uh, you know, that these are straight. You know, I can put these holes anywhere. Just the hole in the middle that's got to make sure everything lines up. So uh, what I might do is measure from inside edge to inside edge and get whatever dead center is to that. And that should guarantee that I'm dead center on my uh, on my piers when they go in. Does that make sense? I hope I hope so. So, that's about lined up center there. That's about center there. Hope that's a good enough mark. Trying to get the dirt off of it as much as I can before I roll it up into here. Get a root, damn it. I think we're just about at depth for this one. I'm definitely not going to worry about going too deep on this one because it's just holding up the middle. I guess. You know, I want them all to be secure, but I feel like the corners are probably the more important ones. 
Obviously these will go a long way to helping anchor it and everything too, but they're also mostly just for supporting the middle. I don't know. They're all equally important. So there's hole one. This is the hole that the root was in and I'm filling up with rocks. There's hole two in the middle. And there's hole three. So now what I gotta do, I'm gonna remeasure just to try to make sure I got it as accurate as I can right now and then go from each hole to about eight feet and make marks and try to see if I can go ahead and dig out those holes and we'll be set to bring in material instead of taking it out. So here's the problem. I've got my marks. This is eight and a half feet. That's eight feet on the dot, which is presumably, you know, like that's where your post would be. And the eight and a half are kind of like right in that area. The eight and a half is because you're doing 12 inch in diameter footing holes. holes. So that adds at least three or four inches on either side. So I just measured eight and a half. So uh, we got the marks. I have a general idea, but the problem is, is like this has to be square. And I don't think I have it square. This is where you really need your string line set up. If I have my posts in and had them oriented properly, then I could probably measure off of that and get more or less square close to it maybe I don't know uh, but since I don't that's kind of the problem so what I'm gonna try to do is uh, maybe use the measuring tape and bring a line down here to kind of create a straight line and that'll just be how we're gonna do it on that end and then use that as a marker for where we'll measure from to go to that end. I may just have to go get a string line or go get my string line and uh, try to do it that way. But I don't know, let me think about it. So I brought my cable out here for another purpose, but uh, I decided to just try it with this. So I anchored it with a stick over there and ran it over here. Obviously this is nowhere near exact exact but I am actually kind of pleased with how well it lines up like this is off because it's a big cable so if I lined it up there that's almost center on all of them so uh, I'm actually kind of surprised that my wonky ass work here actually lined up that well you know I'm sure in the end when I actually go to do something with this it'll probably show me the errors of my ways <laughs> but for now uh, that's actually kind of cool so I'm not exactly sure how this helps me get the other measurements, but it's a start. Ideally, you know, I would need to run this way and get a mark there and there and like actually make the whole perimeter of the structure and then measure corner to corner and all that stuff. But uh, uh, I got to figure out, I need to go get my string line if I really want to do all that. But this at least gave me a little insight. So that's cool. I ran my cable like dead center as much as I could. Down to here I figured maybe that would give me the most accurate results so I'm not skewing on a corner. If I could get dead center from there then that would give me a close enough mark at least to dig the hole. I may dig it a little bit bigger around to give me some wiggle room. Um, but maybe if I can at least get this hole started and then I can measure from that hole to the where the other ones need to be, then my corners will be right. I think what it is, like this is a classic case of uh, cutting corners and causing yourself more work than if you had just done it the right way. Well, we're a few inches down on our hole here. But the problem is I'm hitting rock. And I think it's just that like brittle 
lime rock or whatever, but it's like <laughs> covering the whole diameter, the entire diameter of the hole here. Ugh. I don't know if you can see me that well right now, but there's some deer. Do you hear them? Weirdest noise ever. There they go. It's right through there. Been watching me. Oh. <laughs> Such a strange noise they make, man. That was weird because I was actually on the phone and I heard those noises and I, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> I don't know. I never heard a deer before. That seems kind of weird, but. Um, at least didn't remember what they sounded like, and they came up over the hill here and saw me and like ran away a little bit and then came back down and like was in viewing distance. I think they were watching me and they went down here until they got to where I was just showing you. But uh, I don't think they're happy about me being here. So there's our rock hole. I didn't make any progress on it, I didn't try. I'm gonna have to get my uh, hammer and chisel or the pickaxe or something to try and break that up, I guess. I mean, technically that's the middle one. <laughs> so I wonder if I just filled that up with concrete if that would be good enough. Oh, I'd love to take that shortcut, uh, but I just don't know. Anyway, so what I decided to do, since I had the whole diameter, is I used it to try and mark where the corners would be. So, started this hole, it's not deep enough yet, and then I started this hole over here, and uh, just eyeballing it, it looks pretty good. It looks like maybe these line up properly. Uh, once I get it going, I guess I'm at a point now where I can do it, I'm going to try to try to measure diagonally and see if they're anywhere near similar. Obviously they don't have to be exact, but... Uh, if they were pretty close, I'd be very happy. If it works, then we've got the locations and partially dug out for all six holes. That's exciting. All right, so I went ahead and measured from that one to that one. And uh, I didn't come over here to check the positions and everything, but it was 176 inches from about the far edge of that one to the far edge of that one. And this one is like 180. There's 176 right there. So we're actually in the ballpark, it would seem. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. That's a few inches off, but we're also measuring at an angle, and it's not perfect and everything. But within a few inches of our diagonal mark, and we actually have the marker in the hole, so that's... At least it's not coming up short, so I don't want to say too much because uh, I'll end up eating my words if I start spitting too many things out of my mouth that I don't understand. But uh, yeah, that, uh, that diagonal gives me a little bit of hope. Maybe it's false hope, but neither of these so far have had this rock, so I'm uh, hopeful that I'll be able to get that dealt with. Ugh. But I'm tired, I'm gonna call it a day. We got all six holes dug slash started. And we're set up to come back again and see if we can break up that rock and get the holes finished and maybe start bringing in materials. Wish me luck. Well, we're back at the property today. Probably be the last day for several days because we're supposed to get some rain. Uh, tomorrow at least, maybe for a couple days. So uh, what I wanted to try to do is get out here and finish digging these footings out. And uh, I got my tools of mass destruction. I forgot my earphone things, so I'm going to have to run back and try to get those. But 
we're gonna get started on this and see if we can finish digging out these uh, couple of footings and go from there. Well, the good news is the rock feels pretty soft, like it's hammering into it relatively easily, so it's just going to be a workout, but hopefully we can get something going. All right, so we made some progress. There's a big chunk of it. We'll put it in our hole up here. So what I was originally trying to do is like go around the perimeter and like dig the whole thing out but what I realized is that just kind of sticking to the center here and chipping away at it seemed to be more effective so uh, that's what I'm doing I'm gonna try to chip away more at this but if I can at least get down to where the pier would go then maybe it's not such a weird idea to leave the rock around it as reinforcement I don't know well, we made a little bit of progress but that is uh, much thicker, much bigger piece of rock than I thought. Anyway, while I'm slaving away at this, I wanted to go ahead and let you know that I created a new Patreon account for this channel. And, uh, you know, if you like what I'm doing here, if you like what you're seeing, if you appreciate the work I'm trying to do, or, you know, if I fail the reasons I'm trying to do it, <laughs> then, uh, you know, feel free to support me over there. It helps me to keep making videos like this it gives me uh more of an excuse to spend time doing this and whatnot so and of course you know it helps to pay for what i'm trying to do because that's a big thing very very tight limited budget and whatnot so uh there's a few different tiers there i didn't really know what to make them or what to do or i can't really be bothered to go too in depth with like perks and stuff like that but i think it's the second tier if you subscribe to that one, uh, I'll be posting, you know, I've already got a few ones already posted, I think, of behind the scenes clips. Sometimes I record things on the phone or whatever. I mean, I'm recording this whole thing on the phone right now, but sometimes I get little extra clips and too much time goes by between when I recorded that to the next video and what I'm doing or something will happen uh, where I just don't think the video fits or is worth using. Um, sometimes there might be like old videos from years ago that I find. That I never did anything with too of uh, other random stuff anyway the point is extra content will be posted exclusively there uh, for patrons so yeah if, if that sounds interesting then uh, maybe take a gander give it uh, some thought a little bit of consideration maybe mull it around in your mind a little bit wood chipper munch it up turn it into mulch fertilize it and uh, see if that little seed of interest grows into a nice, beautiful banana tree. Well, I decided to uh, give the stone a break and come over here and start digging out this other footing. We're almost about, we're, we're pretty much two feet in. I might go down a little bit more. But uh, yeah, I figured I should do this before I uh, wear myself out all the way spin myself on this rock. If I can get these two dug out then I'll know that's all I got left and since it's the middle one I might just leave it. If I can just get the the, the post in there about a foot you know and get some good concrete around it maybe I don't know you might not even need gravel in that one since you got the rock there to set it on. I don't know. Anyway, if it, if it looks like there's no end in sight, then uh, I might just do that and maybe try to find a, a way to brace things a little better afterwards or something. I don't know. I mean, maybe. I mean, I hope that what I'm doing is already overkill for this kind of project, but I do want it to be seeded well because of 
it being on a slope like this. So that's a big deal. And uh, one thing I'm trying to avoid, if you can, I don't know if you can tell on camera, it's not really done here yet, but I got to make sure that I kind of flange it out on the bottoms. You don't want to have the hole looking like that. I'm not trying to make an ice cream cone. I don't want Joe Biden over here trying to lick on my footing. So I, uh, you know, you want it to flange out at the bottom so that the concrete grabs the dirt, you know, you don't want it to just be like something that can be pushed out. Something like that. I don't know how any of this works, but uh, as far as I know, that's how you want to do it. And that seems to me like the most reasonable way to approach this, especially as a footing for a foundation and not just a post in the ground, a sign. So that's what I'm trying to do. Well, there's the hole we were just at. There's our rock hole. Here's this hole over here, the last one, and uh, looks like we're running into the rock shelf. I'm assuming that comes all the way from that one. We actually hit a little bit of rock in the, uh, the end one over there as well, but it was far enough down to not be a concern. This one, you know, based on my shovel measurement, is uh, about 18 inches down, maybe. So... You know, maybe that would be deep enough to get away with. I'm still trying to see if I can go a little bit deeper, but if I could at least get deeper here where it seems to be more dirt and then use the, the rock and gravel to level it out to this point, maybe that would be good enough, but I don't know. I'm trying to do uh, what I was doing over there, here with the chisel, but it's deep enough in there that it's really awkward to try and get it. But uh uh, anyway, those all went pretty well except for the damn roots, and I thought that was like Gonna be the worst of it. I wasn't thinking about these rocks All right, so that's about as deep as I care to go with this one due to the uh, Rock that I'm running into So let's see if we can figure out how deep we are Let's put that about there and this is our deepest point over on this side. So on the high end, pretty close to two feet. And on the low end, fairly close. You know, we have this dirt here, but I mean the uh, rock here is sitting up a bit higher, a few inches. But my assumption is, you know, I'll put gravel in here just enough to flatten this out so that should hopefully put us about the depth that we want to go there and then this one at the deepest side we are at about what is that 17 18 inches and on the shallow side i don't know around a foot or so a couple inches 14 inches maybe so uh this isn't the prettiest hole but we're big enough in there to put some gravel, try to get it level, and then have hopefully around a foot of concrete. So I'm good with that. You can see right there, that little patch, I tried to chisel it a bit and I'm hitting some pretty solid filling stuff. And then this one, we are at above two feet on the high end and right at two feet, maybe an inch above on the low end so this is pretty much the ideal here and I wanted to make sure this one was good because those may not be as perfect and then over here on our very first hole I got a bunch of stuff that settled down into it but we are at close to what is that 21 inches on the high end and maybe 19 20 on the low end and uh, it'll actually be a little bit deeper once I clear all that out. Should be similar here, but again, we have some stuff. So about 19, oop, 19, 20 inches for the high and maybe about 17 or 18 for the low. And our final hole here. We were at almost two feet on the high end there. Was that 22 inches? 21, 22. And... Let's just go with 2021 on the low. Whew. So, assuming uh, this is a lot of work to not be uh, perfect on my measurements. So that's going to, I'm just going to say it now. It's going to suck when I find out that this isn't right. <laughs> but it is what it is. Anywho, 
if it is right or if it were right, then we've dug our footings as, as best as we can. I'm really hoping it's not arrogant to say that this is overkill for the, the purpose here. So we'll see. But uh, yeah, I think we're pretty good. I'm going to try to shovel out some of this dirt. It's not going to matter too much because, like I said, it's going to rain or it's supposed to rain. And that probably means it's going to put all kinds of junk back down in my holes here before I can get back to them. So, at least it won't have what, you know, is in there now. And I probably need to, like that dirt is right, ab just about right above that hole. So I should probably scoot that over just in case there's like runoff from the rain. So it doesn't just, you know, something I could have prevented washing back down to my holes that I spent so long digging. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call it a day. Um, pretty much got everything we wanted to do done, I think. I hope, unless I'm forgetting something. And uh, I was trimming some bushes out of the way for my presumed uh, material delivery device. <laughs> and uh, I got a nice little stick in the eye. So I think that's a good note to call it on. Hopes. Hopefully, hope so.